Manga newspaper reports that Omoyeli Shore, a candidate for the African Action Congress, criticized President Bola Tinubu for his announcement regarding the elimination of forest subsidies. On Wednesday, Shore made a statement via his verified Twitter account. According to the AAC presidential candidate who opposes the elimination of forest subsidies, Tinubu did not make an announcement on raising the minimum salary from 30,000 to 250,000 Naira. He claimed that although why the minimum wage in Nigeria is still 30,000 Naira, individuals who favored, who favored the elimination of forest subsidies have been unable to pay for their transportation to support to work as a result of unexpected fuel price increases across the nation which have raised transportation costs workers minimum wage is now at thirty thousand per month as official bola metinubu just stumbled a few minutes at his inauguration and the only thing which he could say was fuel subsidy is gone she already said he did not continue the new minimum wage is uh, 250,000. And now, those who insisted that this was beneficial for Nigeria are stranded at home without the means to get to work. Those who claim that raising the minimum wage would cause inflation do not claim that increasing the price of gasoline by 300% will kill everyone, including the middle class. If there is only, if there's any, if there's any middle class, you are not important to them, he declared. The, the, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Mammoth Filling Station at Lagos bus stop in the city, opened its gates for consumers to buy fuel. But motor refused to walk in since it was being offered as 511 naira per liter. According to a viral video, from Port Harcourt, the capital of River State, it was discovered that Bayesa State NNPCL outlet have begun selling gasoline at 500 naira per liter. Hmm. 500 and uh, yes, it is now say 511 naira per liter, according to a viral video from Port Harcourt, River State capital, where it was discovered that Bayesa State NNPCL outlets have begun selling gasoline for 500 naira. Some private filling stations are reportedly charging between 520 and 700 naira per liter for fuel in, a, in Oka, the capital of Anambra State. Internal transportation from Aroma roundabout to Kwata Junction flyover, which used to be 100 naira, is now 200 naira. Similarly, from a Aroma roundabout to the well known AK Oka market, which used to cost 250 naira. Is five hundred naira okay now? What about the those who are who are talking? Eh? I don't under, understand. Do <laughs> how are they going to no increment in salary? But when it comes to I don't I don't understand. How do you expect thieves will not be on the road? Armed robbers will not be on the road. All manner of things that will make these people to go and do and undo. Everything will just be there. And you expect people to continue to be normal. Just do the right do the right thing. How? Where would they get the money? Where would they get the money? Shore, you lie for this one. We Tinubu supporters support subsidy removal. Really? <laughs> you have said it all. Thank God that uh, we are all in it. Together. The beauty of the country now is that if hunger and hardship did not kill you as a poor Nigeria kidnapper or unknown gunman, terrorist or better see bandits who do the job if you are rich somebody say it's a lie <laughs> they are stranded now 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 some of them know if you come out now if you talk now nah, wait till they call her now nah, shame they kill them and so we the progressive mind should collectively say goodbye to oil subsidy and punch the oil merchant into permanent abyss some people are asking the same question diesel they've removed subsidy which one there is there again kerosene they remove subsidy so how has it better the life of the people how what and what the subsidy they remove what and what have they used it for and meanwhile you know that they are borrowing money to to buy this subsidy so when people are saying that they will use the money or they are saying they are going to use the money 
Because this, this thing are not well explained. Some people are explaining, are talking on behalf of Tinubu. Tinubu has not even come out as somebody who wants to lead the country because he was running away from debate. Those who are supposed to ask him pertinent questions could not ask him so that he will be able to answer, so that he will give detail of how he's going to do it. And the same thing, they wrote something for him. He read another thing. And that's why we have uh, all this katakata. Because the money they are using for the subsidy, they are borrowing it. That means they will stop borrowing the money. No, it's not as if there's money somewhere. So, because if you are, not, you are borrowing money to do something, there's no point of you borrowing the money again. Then, what are you going to use the money for? You are, the money is going to go be there because you are, use, you are borrowing the money to buy something you are not supposed to be buying. So, you stop the money. So, you stop the, 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 the loan and there would not be nothing on ground because people are asking that question. Those are the things. People just say, now nah, we don't support her and make it be because of a, because of what? Because they just want to justify something because they are ashamed of themselves. This guy is just a noise maker. He's a noise maker. Why can't they increase? Okay, now, you that you are paying 100 naira for transportation from one point to another, now it's going to be 200 naira. Your salary is still the same. And it's not only that one, or every other thing is going to skyrocket. So how are you going to cope? What has he do, told you that he's going to he's going to do so that you'll be able to cope? Hmm. They say this man has no sense. Yeah, you know, get sense. At the end of the day, who they you know they feel now? He they feel now. He will go back to your room now. You will know whether in they talk sense or not. If they come on social media, they talk rubbish. But your body they tell you. Nobody say a hey, time will come that you people will suffer. No, you have started suffering. And I've told you people that hey, these guys. The suffering, eh, you know, you know, mean anything to them. So they can do and undo. And they can defend nonsense. Say you no know, get sense. Now you get sense. And the best way go, they make uh, announcement. We're not supposed to make announcement. Now you get sense, but well, who told you since Buari did not kill us, Tinubu go kill us. Okay, so guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.